Handy Dandy is the uh, latest production coming to the Players Guild of Hamilton. And to tell us more, returning to the show is uh, director and actor Diane Brokenshear. Good to see you again. It's nice to see you, Bob. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it was nice to have Players Guild of uh, Hamilton back up and uh, running after a long hiatus. Back in the fall, you uh, joined us uh, with Love Letters, and you've been on before with Steel Magnolias and so many other productions. You're uh, quite a veteran, but you must be so glad to get back on stage and in front of audiences. It's so great, and we've done a lot of work to make that safer for our audiences. We've got a new HVAC system, and of course, we'll be following uh, COVID protocols with asking people to be vaccinated, and you'll need to wear a mask during the time that you're in the facility. But we are welcoming you with open arms, and this is a, a real barn burner of a play. Yes, tell us about uh, Handy Dandy. Off. Well, it, Handy Dandy, most people don't know, or some don't. Um, and it comes from a Shakespearean quote from King Lear. And the play echoes that very beautifully. It's, it's directed by Mo Dwyer and features Steve O'Brien, who's known to our audiences, and Lynn Atkinson, who's a newcomer to the Guild, but certainly not to theatre. And she plays Molly Egan, a retired nun and a social activist. And um, she challenges the judge's lifelong belief in the law. And the script brings them to a place of understanding and indeed it, of caring. It's set in Boston in 1983, and the fear of the missiles and fear of the Russians echoes sadly uh, what's happening in our world today. But through that journey, there's humor and it's an intellectual play. And you will find that the quote says, in from Lee, part of it says, Justice rails at yon simple thief, and hearken thine ear, change places, and handy dandy, which is the justice and which is the thief. And you, the audiences will find as you go through the play, finding that moment when the two of them, the judge and the nun, actually change places or begin to understand each other's philosophy. So it's a, it's a good one. Yeah, and as you mentioned, a comedy drama. Uh, but what was, and, and you know, it came in the mid '80s. But yes, yeah, certainly timely with everything that's going on today. But what's the takeaway for audiences? Oh, the takeaway! It's one of those plays that you're going to be walking out, discussing with each other what was said, when a change happened. Did she really get it? Did he really get it? And when was that moment? So I think it will. It will keep us frozen in suspense. <laughs> I'm sorry, we have some technical issues and our uh, Skype connection is all uh, locked up. Diane, can you hear me? No. Okay, well, you know what? Here's the information anyways. It's going to run through May 28th at the uh, Players Guild. Uh, and uh, it's just a great intimate venue at uh, 80 Queen Street South in Hamilton. And uh, there's uh, many show times, many show dates uh, to check out uh, whatever suits your schedule for some great community theater.